This video will show teachers how they can use Notability on their MacBook. So this video is really intended for teachers that also have an iPad. Teachers can download and use Notability at the high school even if they don't have an iPad. However, you might not find this as useful. So the first thing you'll do is download Notability from self-service. And then the next thing you'll do is you need to sign in to your Apple ID if you have not already done so. You will want to sign in with the exact same Apple ID that you signed into on your iPad. So if I open up the system settings and notice right here, there is a little spot to sign in or it will display your Apple ID. On your iPad, you will also need to be signed in using the settings app. Ensure that in the upper left hand corner, again, you're signing in with your school issued Apple ID. Let's get into Notability. I'm going to open up the application here and you'll see that it looks fairly similar to the application that you're likely used to using on your iPad. I'm going to have it open on my iPad and my MacBook and there are a couple settings we just want to make sure are on. So I'm going to click on this settings gear here. I'm going to go down to iCloud and ensure that this is turned on. If you are not able to turn this setting on, Click on subscription and make sure that it says notability for organizations. If it does not say that, you will want to submit a help desk ticket. The same is true on your iPad. So you'll want to have iCloud syncing on. And the reason for that is all of your notes that you have on your iPad should now just simply appear right here on your MacBook. You can rename them, you can duplicate them, save them. And when I click save, it allows me to save it directly onto my computer. You can also delete them more easily. And what I found is really helpful to having it on my MacBook is that I can very easily sort them into my subjects if I want. If you make any edits on one of your notes on your iPad, you will notice those edits within just a few seconds on your MacBook. The other thing that's nice about this is if you have a file on one device versus the other, you no longer really need to airdrop them from one device to another because you can very easily open up a PDF file on your computer or iPad, and then it will be in both places. So you could, for example, save a completed PDF to your desktop and then put it into Canvas, or you can grab a, a file from wherever you have them stored, and they'll be easily accessible on both of your devices. The last thing I'll point out is if you do have a PDF that you would like to insert into Notability, you can just drag it and drop it right in and it will, after a few seconds, show up on your iPad as well. So that's how you can use Notability on your MacBook and iPad to improve your workflow.